A warm welcome to this, the first film in our roof waterproofing series, in which we will be expanding on the principles of flat roof construction. The roof is the uppermost part of a building. A roof is described as being flat if it has a pitch of no more than 10 degrees to the horizontal, irrespective of the direction of the slope or any change in its direction. Here you can see a completely flat roof, a single or mono-pitch roof with a pitch of 10 degrees on one side a gable roof with the same pitch on either side, and a so-called butterfly roof with two slopes that rise out from the centre at a pitch of 10 degrees. Now let's take a look at the characteristics of flat roofs in terms of structural engineering and building physics. A flat roof has to transfer various loads. Firstly, the weight of its own construction. Secondly, loads created by wind and snow. And third, as a result of roof access, whether by occupants who use it as part of their living space or simply for maintenance. A flat roof must also protect the interior of the building against the elements, including rainwater and high levels of sunshine. In winter, it also has to prevent the cold from penetrating the building and minimise transmission heat loss. Let's remind ourselves of the ways in which pitched and flat roofs protect the buildings below them from the ingress of water. A pitched roof diverts water, which runs down the steep roof surface and is then carried away. In contrast, water pools on a flat roof, which forms a sort of collecting tank and so has to be removed. This tank must be watertight, so the roof must act as a barrier to the water. The need to provide this barrier means that a flat roof has to be waterproofed. Its shell, like the hull of this submarine, must be completely watertight. Pressing water is able to penetrate even the smallest hole, and so the watertight surface must be completely free of defects. Even if water does not back up and press against the surface retaining it, it can still penetrate the fabric of a building. Adhesion and cohesion forces mean that water droplets can find their way through the smallest joints. This means that the waterproofing layer on a roof must be fitted without any breaks or leaks. As a general rule, leaks in flat roofs are the result of installation errors, such as failing to ensure that waterproof membranes are fully adhered or fixing them to adjacent components. The water carrying layer of a flat roof must slope to allow water to drain away. The minimum specified pitch is 2%, that is to say a difference in height of 2 cm over a length of 1 m. This slope must be angled towards a roof drain into which the water runs before being removed from the building. The upstand that runs all the way around a flat roof effectively turns it into a collecting tank. The water-carrying waterproofing layer can slope inwards or outwards. If it slopes inwards, drains are placed centrally on the roof surface and the water flows away through downpipes inside of the building. If the roof slopes outwards, then drains are placed at the upstand with the downpipes running either through the building or externally down the facade. The proper design and construction of a flat roof is no easy task. However, there are two important reference works that will help you get it right. German Standard DIN 18531 provides specifications for the materials to be used. The German Roofing Trades Association, or ZVDH, publishes something called the Flat Roof Guidelines, which contains instructions on waterproofing flat roofs. This is Germany's Roof Waterproofing Bible. Summary. A roof is described as flat if it has a pitch of no more than 10 degrees to the horizontal. As the uppermost part of a building, a flat roof needs to perform a variety of different functions. A flat roof forms a barrier to water rather than diverting it in the manner of a pitched roof. Providing this barrier means making the roof structure watertight. The shell must therefore be completely watertight. The water-carrying layer of a flat roof must have a slope to allow water to drain away. The minimum specified pitch of this slope is 2%. Our roof waterproofing series continues with film number 2, in which we look at how a warm roof is constructed.